Row, Reynolds Middle School is temporarily closing and having to move to distance learning, and this is going to take place over the next two weeks. This happening after fights broke out in classes and in the halls. We sent our Elise Haas to the middle school today to find out how administrators are going to address this very problem. Elise, certainly a big change and going back to COVID times, even though it's not COVID related for students and staff. It's definitely a curveball. We didn't see this coming, but I will say first and foremost, Liz, that this fighting that we're seeing in schools is not unique to Reynolds Middle School. We are hearing reports of this happening at school districts across our area, but it has gotten so bad here that school officials felt like they had to close down in order to reassess. And of course, there's a fight so right much. now. Oh, really? Yeah. Even while our cameras were rolling, fights were breaking out at Reynolds Middle School. We're seeing this at all of the school districts and I mean we're talking about we're hearing about physical fights verbal fights what are you experiencing in the school so um, a lot of similar issues um, you know outbursts in classrooms and just uh, social emotional issues from students that are that are being disruptive uh, to to their peers um, and to the teachers in response Reynolds Middle School is taking the next couple of weeks to switch to distance learning to give teachers and students a break but more importantly, to develop social skills, curriculum, and relationship building exercises for students to work on when they return. I even know as an adult that I've lost some social skills during the pandemic. I, I don't, and I, I, I assume that that's what our kids have lost too. It's so confusing for us as adults. Um, imagine, you know, what it's like for, for a junior high student to have to go through this as well. The middle school will be adding safety protocols like more adult hall monitors to keep a better eye out on students' behavior. The district hopes these short-term pains will lead to healthier learning in the long term. And coming up tonight, the Reynolds School Board will be meeting to discuss this issue, and the district tells me that they're going to be proposing that they provide more social and emotional resources to the students here at the middle school, including more social workers, counselors, and mental health professionals. Live in Fairview, Elise Haas, Quinn 6 News.